Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel! For today's video, I'm going to be fishing at one of my local spots. Uh, the last time that I was out here, I did not do too well. I didn't do, uh, I didn't get skunked, but the bite wasn't on fire or anything like that. I only managed to catch one and I lost one. So today, I'm hoping that the bite will be better. It is actually showering right now. It's not raining like crazy, but it is showering. Um, tomorrow it's gonna rain like crazy and honestly the entirety of next week will be raining So today I'm just gonna try to get a little bit of fishing in try to catch a couple fish I don't care what I catch it on the Ned rig the trench hog whatever I'm just gonna try to catch some fish uh, And I will do whatever it takes to catch a couple bass. So uh, Yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna put the camera on the chesty and uh, grab all my fishing gear and tackle and head over to the pound. So I'll see you beautiful thing of berries in a minute. Okay, folks, I've made it to the pond. I'm gonna start the day off with the trench hog. It's a June bug colored trench hog. Um, right now the water's actually pretty clear, so June bug's not the best color to uh, use, but I don't have any other color. Um, I only have the June bug color for the trench hog, so that's just what I'm gonna stick with for now. If the if I don't get any bites on this, then I will uh, uh, use something finesse like a Ned rig, Ned crawl, something like that. Man, it is so cold right now. <laughs> oh my god, it is. I'm freezing my hands are cold like I can't I don't have any sensation in my fingers right now I can't feel my hands oh my god it is cold it's like 50 degrees outside right now <laughs> so uh, I'm not surprised that the bass really aren't biting I actually saw one earlier uh, right as I was coming up to the pond I saw a big one or a decent one probably like a two three pounder is just cruising around near the shore so you know, that does give me hope um, it reassures me a little bit, <laughs> but uh, chances are he probably did already see this bait because I've thrown it around a bunch of times already, but uh, I don't think he's going to be interested in this thing. You know, bass during the winter, even though it's not technically winter yet, it is pretty much winter because it's cold as f So, you know, bass during the winter, they aren't uh, very aggressive. They're very lethargic creatures. They're very lazy during the winter time. They don't want to do jack sh they just want to sit on their ass and do nothing all day. Which I can totally relate to because, you know, during the winter time, all I want to do is just stay in bed. It's too f***ing cold to do shit. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting a bite. Holy. Oh, there's a fish. Come on. Oh, damn it. Did he let go? Damn it, he might have just let go. Oh, my God. I got a bite, though. Yeah, damn it, he let go. Oh, oh, it was a really subtle bite, but I felt it. Oh my god. Please come back for it, buddy. Come on. Okay, ladies and gents. I'm switching over to the Ned rig or the Ned Craw, I should say. Switching over to that now just because I only managed to get one bite on this thing. And that's about it. So it's time to go finesse. These fish are finicky. They would not commit to the trench hog for whatever reason. They're just being really goddamn finicky right now. So yeah, it's time to do a little bit of finesse fishing. Hopefully I can nail them on this. If not, then uh, I'm shit out of luck. <laughs> Alright folks, it is currently 4.30 p.m. and now I am at a different pond. I'm at pond number two because uh, the first pond just was not working out for me. Um, I only managed to get one bite at that pond and the fish would not commit to it. And then when I switched over to the Ned Rig or Ned Crawl, whatever you want to call it, when I switched over to that, I was not able to get a single bite on it and plus I kept getting snagged left and right so I was like, it. I'm gonna call it quits at that pond and head over to a different spot and this particular pond has a lot of fish But no big fish, you know, it has a ton of fish, but nothing over a pound 
and that's cool i'm not tripping about that just because you know it's pretty late in the afternoon it's gonna be it's gonna get dark real soon so at this point in time i just want to catch some fish have a little bit of fun and then uh head on home afterwards so yeah with that being said i'm gonna put the camera back on the chesty and uh start fishing at pond number two Man, the water is really low right now. Um, and that's not too much, of that's not really surprising to me just cause, you know, they're lowering the water right now just cause there's gonna be a lot of rain next week. So, you know, they don't want the pond to overfill. Ooh, I'm getting a bite. There we go, there's a fish. There we go. There's a fish. Fish on, baby. Come in here. Woo! Yes! There we go. We got a little squeaker. We got a little squeaker pup. <laughs> oh, chill. Chill out, baby. Chill. Calm yourself. Woo! Feisty little bugger. <laughs> there we go. First fish of the evening. Woo! Okay, buddy, thank you so much for biting. See ya. Alrighty, folks, I am back at home now after a really tough day of fishing. The bite was painfully slow today, so honestly, I'm really glad that I managed to catch one fish this evening, because after I left the first pond, I was getting real worried that I might get skunked, and thankfully, that did not happen. So I do consider myself to be blessed, and uh yeah with that being said it is time for me to sign out now so i will see you beautiful dingleberries on my next fishing trip and as always if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your notifications so that you'll always be notified every time we drop a new video peace out motherfucker.